Hello and welcome back to Joel the Entertainer Show. Well, Chelsea are still doing their pre-season friendlies in America, playing in the Premier League Summer Series. Now, Chelsea are playing against Newcastle. Newcastle, you know, it's a good class, I think. However, it's a pre-season friendly. I don't take pre-season friendlies are uh, serious. You know what I mean? You know, they're not that serious. They're for the managers and the coaching team to decide who's the players, the players they want to keep, who the players they want to have a hard conversation with and say, going to be let go or go on loan sort of thing. So I do exactly the same thing, but on football manager computer game. So Chelsea, after having two wins back to back, and they are playing tonight in, uh, in against Newcastle in one of the most amazing stadiums that I have seen from pictures. And the hopefully the fan atmosphere will be amazing because they are playing in Atlanta, one of the greatest cities in America, with so much history. And the stadium is something else. I mean, I can't show you the pictures because, you know, it would be copyrighted, but I will show you the pictures through the Chelsea Stories links and that, so you can see what the stadium I'm talking about. The stadium, it's like a dome, you know. It's got like rectangular sort of thing, you know, building outside. It's amazing. The... You know, it looks like a concert from the outside. But the inside, you feel like it's like a like a church building. You know, it just feels like that. And, you know, so it's very modern. And I think it's going to be hosting one of the venues for the World Cup. I'm not sure because there's still to be society or sort of thing. So, yeah, it's at one fifteen in the morning tonight so i know a lot of you may say oh you're not proper chelsea you know if i didn't stay up or didn't bother to watch the game i mean i might watch the game if i feel up for watching the game however i understand that some of the american fans or some of the fans from around the world watch and follow their Premier League teams or even teams like Wrexham. So they, you know, so they do wake up early in the morning to watch the game. I remember about probably, well, it's a long time ago, I went to Australia to visit my brother who was living and playing golf there for six months. And there was a week week game, a very important game at the time. And the Premier League game, we Chelsea played against at home against Man United. And I think we beat them 3-1. And it was six o'clock in the morning in Australian time and where everyone else was watching it at you know, at seven o'clock in the evening. It was very strange. And, and I, I remember I was having a first cup of coffee. You know, I remember it was a latte sort of thing and went to Casino because that was the only place where we could watch it live and it was massive screens and everything. And I kept thinking to myself, the lifestyle sort of thing and, you know, imagine... I imagine what the, you know, the expats, fans and everything. I imagine the feeling, you know, you got to be up early in the morning to watch the game and follow your team. And but it's just from that perspective sort of thing. So um, anyway, one fifteen kickoff and I'll see you all for more videos. Let's do this.